Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7, Court of Swords. It's easy when you're low numbers, Adam. It gets tricky the higher you get. It's easy when you're low numbers and the last time you played was four days ago. That's, that's, a, that's also true. That's <laughs> it's not like it's true. been six weeks or anything. It hasn't been six weeks. I, I still forget to turn on my lights though at the beginning. So I'm not perfect, Adam. All right. I can't, I can't <clears throat> get it right every single time. Uh, Dan, I like the shirt. I just noticed your, your fancy shirt, man. He dressed up today. Yeah, oh. he dressed up. I'm wearing like a fucking like laundry stained shirt with it looks. Yeah, <laughs> mine is it. You're, you, you're keeping it classy, Dan. I like it's it. It's new. I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like it. A lot. Uh, Dan, what's been new in your life in the past four days? Uh, just I've been excited to get to continue the story. We left off at a very big cliffhanger. It was like insane at the end there, uh, but. Yeah, I've been playing uh, Recore the past couple of days. How is Came that? Out. Yeah, how is it's, that? It's 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 a very unique game. It's different. Um, a lot of it's it's definitely a budget game. There's not a lot of depth there. It's yeah. It's enjoyable enough as like a filler experience, but I don't think it's that great. It's just just okay. It's another Xbox One exclusive where it's not great. It's not bad. It's sort of like Quantum uh, Break where it's decent enough for filler, but not super great. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least they didn't charge you full price like they did for. Yeah, it's only forty, 40 bucks. bucks. Yeah. I would say I got forty dollars worth of entertainment out of it. So. Oh, you already beat it? Did you finish it? Well. Are you done I playing to, it? I got to the end yeah. boss. Yeah. But, um, the boss area, but they gate the boss, um, behind a wall of grinding. So you have to go back and grind all these collectible items oh. to access the final boss, and I, I, I got really upset. Yeah, that's so annoying. Because that's that's really annoying. Yeah, that's super annoying. That's super annoying. Uh, what else have you been playing besides annoying gated boss games? Named I've been uh, replaying uh, Mafia, the first one. Oh, I saw, right. Right. Yeah. I saw your... Uh, I may or may not have been on live streamer fails that last night at 4 a.m. because <laughs> I couldn't sleep. And I saw a video of you driving a car. <laughs> I feel like yeah, live streamers fell is leveled up to the point where they actually post funny content from streamers. Yeah. And it wasn't really it. a fail. You were just kind of playing the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You should call it Twitch highlights because it's pretty much what it it's is. It's pretty now. much. Yeah. It's pretty much exactly what it is. Uh, and it was, I, that was fun, man. You uh, it, just go watch the clip. I don't even know if we could do it justice by describing the, the absurdity. Was that mafia <laughs> one or two mafia one? It's, it came out in 2002 <clears throat> and getting it to run on windows 10 was a challenge in and of itself I bet. but yeah it, it hasn't aged well all the controls and mechanics are very dated ouch but ouch it has a good story so it's worth playing and i'm playing it in prep for mafia 3 which is coming out yeah when, when does that come out the october october 7th i think damn that's about okay. a little less than a month video games are starting to unreal or to release now again yeah it's good. the the end of this year yeah. is just bombarded like, don't don't you know it's september it's almost christmas already come yeah. on yeah. 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 shuffle them out <laughs> that's true december 6th uh, everything's getting delayed december 6th uh last guardian uh fractured butthole and dead rising 4 are all coming out on the same day yeah which is just like what the oh i forgot dead rising 4 is a thing yeah i forgot that's yeah. a video yeah. game that actually exists yeah it exists yeah shit yeah, I saw the. Uh, I was watching Tokyo Game Show uh, last night at like, I don't know, five a.m. or some absurd time. Uh, but when we were wrapping up, getting everything set up for the first night, and uh, did you see the new the new Final Fantasy fifteen PS4 coming out? The Slim, the Luna Edition PS4. Oh, I didn't see it. It's got a giant oh. moon on it, Dan, and it says oh, FF fifteen in the center. I kind of want it. Oh, it's a Final <laughs> Fantasy edition one. Yeah. I thought you were just talking about the PS4. I'm like, wasn't everyone pretty underwhelmed by that? Yeah, the, it, it's a PS4 Slim. It's not the PS4 Pro. It's the, it's the, oh, it's the yeah. Slim. It's oh, not it's even the, the, the Pro. Slim. Yeah, mm. it's just the rounded Slim, but the fucking artwork looks kind of cool. I like a good artwork on the console. I mean, I already have uh, I already have a, a battle. Is that in shot? Yeah, I already got a PlayStation 4 just sitting on the shelf <laughs> with Darth Vader on it that I want. <laughs> so why not just <laughs> add expensive. to the fucking collection of dumb fucking consoles with painted faces? Oh, yeah. On wasn't, it. That, wasn't that from the... That was from the Battlefront the thing, thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got Darth Vader on the side of it. It just sits there. It, does, it I've never plugged it in. Yeah. It's and, a decoration piece. Collector's item now. Yeah, I think. There's a copy of Battle... Or of... Yeah, okay, I got the copy of the One still shrink-wrapped Battlefront, the treasured Battlefront. 
and oh, I'll have something like that in the background. I'll have like not just boxes behind a green screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Office will look nice again. <laughs> I'm excited too. So we bought a bunch of, uh, they're basically like high end DJ lights, but you daisy chain them together. And then they have a little controller box that you can like set up the entire RGB scale and like make them yeah. strobe and stuff like that. So I think I'm just going to like light this entire back thing when I start doing streams and make them all different. Like yeah, for this, we can make them like a, a purple hue, you know? Ooh, maybe then, give yourself a wrestler entrance. Get a little yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, if we just want a dance party in the middle of the stream, fucking just. That's true. Turn yeah. that shit on, strobe it up, and play if you're some not sandstorm. For the stream, just have a little dance party to yourself. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> I might do it. I might do it. Uh, they're also bright as shit. I stared at one last night and Scott blinded the fuck out of me. So there we go. I'm glad they're all so bright. Uh, but yeah, I don't. that's a weird tangent that we just went on. I want that fucking Final Fantasy 15 PS4. And that's really dumb. Like, Let's circle back to where we were. Yeah, that's really <laughs> dumb that I want that. Speaking of hardware. Yeah, it's dumb that it's not a pro too and you want it so bad. That it's yeah, really like, here. like fucking give me one. a special pro. God damn it. I guess they expect more people to buy the cheaper ones, maybe. Well, the, Nintendo, Nintendo's all about that shit with 3D, like special 3DSs and stuff, yeah. right? Where they're like, here you go, we're coming out with some new hardware, but unless you live in Lithuania, you can't get the really cool colors. Yeah. yeah. I actually really wanted the uh, the Zelda th new 3DS. Did you, I think that's where it had like the high, the little Triforce thing on it back in the day. Like I think yeah, ago. it's a 3DS XL. It was the gold one that came yes. out with. Yeah, that that's nice. That's a nice one. Somebody I know has one. They're they're real nice. But again, yeah. like yeah. it's not the new one. It's the bigger. Yeah, it's a old. fucking crappy ass old model. So yeah. why the fuck I haven't touched my that? 3DS XL in a long time. I don't know where mine is. I honestly couldn't tell you where. I don't where I no. Do. I'm the same way with my Wii U pad. I lost that, so I haven't touched my Wii U in forever. I have. <laughs> word update. I have. It's okay. God hates it when you touch your Wii U. Yeah, exactly. That's true. That's true. I've got a box somewhere that just has a brand new Wii U in it because I smashed my old uh, pad, and you can't. You can only get those replaced by like a hundred dollars and shipping it to Nintendo. And I broke yeah. it during Mario Maker uh, by rolling over it on my. I didn't break the actual controller with my. Mm. I didn't slam it down. I just rolled over the s screen and it shattered it uh, oh. with my chair. And so that night I just went and bought a brand new th uh, Wii U, and I haven't actually played the Wii U since. So that was a good investment. I was yeah, that's a really, uh, really, 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 good way, yeah. really good way to keep yourself playing a console. Yeah. Buy a new one and then don't open yeah, the box. Good 250, uh, 200. Well, I play. I took out the the actual pad, right? Sure. Uh, and then I bought the replacement screen from uh, Amazon, and then realized that I don't ever want to take a part of. I took it apart and I was like, this is never going back together. And I just put it to the side of the yeah. desk. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's a yeah. shitty feeling too. That like, cool. All right. I'm going to fix my keyboard. Take all your shit apart. And you're like, oh, I, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's still oh, in a box. God. I saw it yesterday when we were looking for stuff. It's still in a box. Buying a new keyboard. Yeah. Slide it off the desk into the trash. Yep. Never mind. What's up, Amazon? Yep. That's, that's where, well. <laughs> There's nothing to play on the Wii U except for maybe Zelda. So I, maybe I'll get my money off of that. Uh, but yeah. if it's if it's the door, well, we, we, we talked about that, right? Zelda's going to be a crossover oh, title yeah. anyway. So you're not going to play it on the Wii U. You're not. Come on. Come on. Yeah. You know yourself better than this. Yeah, maybe so. Unless they release at different times, then I'll probably play it on the. Right. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, Zelda's so going to be what? It's like on the it's NX like, and the Wii U. Yeah. It's like with, uh, they with did Twilight it with, Princess. Yeah, Twilight like, Princess. I, I had this little thought in my head, this crazy thought that Nintendo would release a game on the PC. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, <laughs> now, we talk, if you want to talk iOS, they're, they're, they got a Super Mario game coming out on iOS, Max. For, That's smart. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll yeah. do that. Well, actually, it was iOS. Never mind. I'm on Android. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a running game, too. It's one of those runners. One of your favorites. It's, like, oh. it's like a side scroll and tempo run. Mario. Yeah. The thing is, I would actually be interested in that for a Mario game. Yeah. Is that just me? Crickets. Yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, you honestly, said it, and I think we were all world. contemplating it. Give it a shot to just because the Mario name is enough to draw me to be like, okay. I mean, to, to be completely fair, Mario. Most Mario games are literally just running and jumping, so it's it fits the fits the model. But it's true. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, you'd think people would be tired of that shit by now. They yeah. can add in enough side mechanics that are like reminiscent of the games where it might be interesting. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Uh, Adam, what have you been up to since two days ago? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I played. We played Breakers. Also, played I skip over. I think I skipped over Max. We'll circle back. It's fine. It's fine. Max, it Max is fine. I'll be short. I played. I played a lot of World of Warcraft. Oh yeah, played, did you hit Max? I finally, 
playing out to play. No, I played, I played for eight hours and I was just like goofing around with subs and we, I got to level 40, I think. Oh, you're leveling um, from one. Nice. Yeah, I'm leveling from one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting a Blood Elf Monk and um, nice. I'm playing Horde, which I never really did. So I'm oh. getting to see all this like old weird Horde stuff, which was fun. Nice. Uh, but yeah, leveling in that game, like we just, I, I, we played to level 15 just doing quests and then it was just dungeons for yeah. like seven hours straight. Dungeons are much faster than, uh, than the quests. For the most yeah, part, I had to do Nomergan like six times. Thanks, Blizzard. Thanks. Yeah, it's a really good dungeon. Yeah, it's great. It's the best it's one. Fun. I hope so. I hope <laughs> it's great. I really enjoy it. Yeah, hope to get to do that lots more it's times. Not, no, so I just that's pretty much all I've done besides role play stuff. Is play a little Warcraft. I'll probably try to jam some more in before uh, before the Texas trip. But uh, yeah. it's fun. It's still Warcraft. I still like it. I definitely like started playing. I was like, I remember why I played so much of this before. Yep. Yeah. Like Let's see. It's hooks back in me. The ever addicting game. Are you off of the the World of Warcraft stand? Are you are you cut free? Did you cut yourself off? No, I'm playing a little bit here and there, okay. mostly off stream though. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I'll I'll boot it up late night, or at least the past couple of days I've been booting it up super late night, doing the doing the world quest and you know doing the stuff from your phone as well uh, yeah. with the app uh, and that's kind of where I'm at. So I feel like if I open up world of Warcraft and scoots is over, there still working. Uh, he'll just show up and like club me uh, and then I'll wake up and somehow either all this stuff will be gone or it'll be Saturday morning and he'll have just done everything himself. So I, I don't want to in- inflict the rage of scoots. So yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Are you done with your show yet? We got work to do. See? See, we got work to do. Yeah. He's a bossy Is that director. You done with your show yet? He's a bossy Hello. director. Uh, Max, you've never played WoW, right? You've never jumped into the WoW? Uh, I, yeah, I was going to say that I, I kind of still I, I, I uh, feel jealous. Not jealous, I guess. I miss the fact that I like missed the boat, right? Like I didn't grow up playing WoW. I played RuneScape because I was too poor to play WoW. And JP's not paying attention. So JP is the worst person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what an ass. Seriously. No, but I never played WoW. Like, you know, in the in the same vein that everybody else or in the same way that everybody else did. Um it's I've definitely tried, a huge time to thing. try to do it. You ever but, you ever want to feel like an old ass man, what you gotta do is play World of Warcraft. And make an EverQuest joke midstream, and then just crickets from your chat. Just no one getting it. I feel like, like I feel huh? no. I feel like wolf anybody? Huh? And yeah. the chat's just like, what are you? I feel wild? like there's enough people that did that as well. Um, I think Max, you're the you're the one you're the type of person that I think a lot of WoW players envy because we would love to be able to just to go through again to yeah. go through again with a fresh like do the uh, the eternal sunshine of the spotless mind thing, and just yeah. delete our memories of WoW and then jump back into it. Maybe I, one think, I feel like wow wouldn't be the thing i would choose to forget and then re- replay again i feel like if there's a list of like experiences i could have for the first time wow, uh, i don't know i'd probably be into it list. i'd probably maybe be one day i'll it. do like a, i'll get some people that are like wow veterans that really want to play to just guide me through the land of see wow. but i think that's actually the wrong way to go at it i feel like the yeah. the the way you go at it is go completely blind and have no help because the veterans already know the fastest way to level. They already know exact like they're gonna make you run Nomergon six times like Adam was doing on yeah. stream. Whereas if you're a new player, you're kinda like, Oh, that that looks kinda let's I'm gonna walk over there and do that. There's a quest over there. I guess I could do that, you know. Just. The thing is like I've played enough WoW to know that it's not that compelling. <laughs> like that it's it's text, it's grinding, it's killing like fifteen spiders and then go killing fifteen more of something else. <laughs> and yeah. Then, yeah. Like like there's more there's i think the problem is now that there's just better games for me to play and it's not worth the time sink for me because i don't have that nostalgic you know attachment to it that's true it's understandable but other than that i didn't really play anything different because we had a show four days ago <laughs> yeah um <laughs> i did have a crazy dream though Uh-oh. where <laughs> let's talk about your dreams like this. Max. this is a good, give me a good segment tell me tell us no, what your dream. it has nothing to do with uh with court of swords but it was a fucking weird dream where i was like Somehow in this dream, I ha- okay, you know the movie, uh, what the fuck is it called? The Saint with Val Kilmer? Yes. Okay, it's a deep cut. You know the doctor who cracked cold fusion? Yes. I was essentially her. Okay. <laughs> I was like this person who had somehow figured out cold fusion, and then I got escorted into this fucking super like secret military base where there's like, you know, gates upon gates that are opening, and it's like, you know, really, really crazy, like out of a movie. Yeah. And I got there and like escorted. I'm like, holy shit, this is fucking crazy. And then I remembered that I didn't know Cole. I'm like, how the 
everyone thinks that I know how to do cold fusion, but I don't know how to do cold fusion. So how do I bullshit that I do know how to do this? Did so you watch that movie recently? Why was no, that? I love that movie, you, but it's just like really into Elizabeth's shoe. <laughs> That's very strange, but it stuck out to me. So now you all have that burdened. <laughs> I guess. You know what? I feel, I feel better having shared it. Yeah. I don't want to drag it on too long, Maybe but it's so. Simon the Magus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe so Simon Magus, the magician. Yeah, uh, I haven't. I don't remember. I haven't. I don't have a dream that I've remembered recently. So. And this sounds like this sounds like an, a whole new show, right? Streamers yeah, we'll recounting, recounting news. Stream journal. A lot of them probably like, just be like stress dreams of like streaming and then looking down. And you're not wearing clothes, and then yeah. you get fucking banned from Twitch or something like that. <laughs> Last night I had a dream about XSplit crashing. Yeah, I had a random. I had a weird dream the other night where I, I was on the phone with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, <laughs> and they were chewing me out over something. I think it was something to do with Gandalf. I can't remember. It was so <laughs> weird. And yeah. They were Bitchy. I didn't like it. Weed's legal in Seattle, guys. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream where Bernie Sanders was giving me shit about I don't know Gandalf. <laughs> I can't remember. Jesus. Bernie Sanders uh, yeah. being a loader fan. Yeah, there you go. I love, I, the left, the left turn at Gandalf is what's killing yeah. me. Like, yeah. Having a dream about politics is one thing, but just throwing Gandalf in there, like, why were they mad at you about a wizard? <laughs> yeah, it's true. They're oh, pissed. Beautiful. I had a dream that uh, HillaryClinton.com explained what the, the Pepe meme is, uh, but then I woke up and it was actually real. And what the oh. fuck is going on? And that's all we're going to say about that. Because <laughs> that's a real thing that exists in this world. You know how many people are going to that right now? <laughs> I mean, they should. It's a fucking ridiculous thing that occurred. I don't understand that that's where we're at right now for a fucking U.S. goddamn election, but whatever, whatever, man. People should know about the Pepe, the memes. All right, that's all. Hillary Clinton just wants to bring the memes to the people, or actually, I it's guess a real remove thing, them. One hundred percent. One, I'll. It's. It was on the top of. It was everywhere. World we live in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, whew. Weird, yeah. weird place. Weird place. What's also a weird world is the world of the Court of Swords. <laughs> oh, Boom. All right. What's, what's going on, Adam? This, We're... this segment brought to you by Segway. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's talk about Court of Swords, speaking of wizards and bad dreams. Um, so when last we uh, when last we saw our characters, um, Baron had uh, heroically repelled uh, some shadows to buy his friends time to destroy a um, strange flower made of organs that had erupted from the chest of one of the local nobles uh, in a sudden. Uh, was twist. it made of organs? We don't really know that. It just yeah, kind kind of like yeah, it was made out of this like tough sort of like meaty like petals thing. Um, yeah. And yeah, it had it had uh, erupted from the uh, from the page who had been poisoned or cursed in some way, um, and uh, yeah, and unleashed these shadows. Um, so we kind of jump back in like in media res because you've you've driven the shadows away, but they're still out there. Uh, they've they've gone out into the palace or out into the village and are like seeking um, uh, more victims. Uh, when they strike, they uh, they create a, a chilling effect and they they sap the strength from their victims uh, until their victims die. They're dementors. Consumed. Yeah, they're they're pretty dementor. It's yeah. true. Um, I'm still sapped. Yeah, you are a little sapped. I don't, I don't know how long that stuff lasts. So, I think it's a long rest. Yeah. So Zephira is still uh, suffering from the effects of uh, of the the shadows, um, and they're they're out there doing doing bad shit. Um, so where do we where do we find the the three of you? Uh, where where would you have have gone, or where do we when we fade up after the uh, opening credit sequence? Where is uh, Zephira, Baron, and, and Bellamy? I think we're like in a hall, running to the screams. Yeah. We're yeah. probably hunting down the rest of the shadows in the castle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so yeah, you're you're like running towards the the sound of a, of a scream, and I think that it leads you to the um, the sort of front gates of the of the palace, and there is a um, like a servant girl who uh, obviously like came out to see what all the noise was about and was uh, attacked, but she hasn't been she hasn't been killed. She's she's lying sort of prone on the on the steps, looking out into the uh, into the village and and like trembling with fear. 
Um, and when you emerge uh, from the from the door, you see her, and she she looks up at you and just just points out into the into the town like they've they've gone that way, and uh, she you know she was attacked, but they didn't stop. They they passed by her and, and flew out into the town to uh, mm-hmm. wreak havoc. So, uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to uh, rally here and then go out, or do you want to like is time of the essence? What do you think? As far as, like, Velmir doesn't really know what these things are, right? Like, he doesn't have knowledge of... The only, the only experience you've had with them is what, uh, what we've seen, right? The, this scary shadow thing. Um, Baron's faith seemed to be able to hold them at bay. Um, but, uh, yeah, you don't know anything off the top of your head. Um, you could, if you wanted to, make, a, like, an arcana check or a history check. If you want to, like, rack your brain uh, about Charlie. that, it wouldn't, wouldn't take too long for you to do that. Okay. Uh, which of those two do you want to do? Um, let me look at what do we have more of. Our history list, you're both the same. They're both, yeah, they're both based off int. Mm-hmm. Hey, a okay. nine. Great. Nine. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think that you have uh, any any additional information. There's like folk tales, obviously, about, you know, specters or spirits, but it's hard to tell reality from, from fiction yeah. uh, in that case. Um, it, they might be ghosts, right? They might be the, the unquiet spirits of the dead. Uh, they might be uh, demons. They might be shades granted life by foul magic. It's it's hard to know for sure without getting a better look at them. Yeah, maybe some reference material. Um, Baron, you can you can make a, a check as well if you want, like a religion check, maybe. Um, okay. I so guess just, while while Baron's making that, Adam, the other question: that room was on fire. Yes, uh, it was. That is true. There is a uh, behind you. We see a, a column of smoke rising from the uh, rising from the palace. Um, unless you did anything in particular, you're going to just have to rely on the palace guards to, to like get water or stand and try to put it out. Yeah, I rolled a twenty on religion. You did indeed. Okay, so um, yeah, given the the exposure you had to these things, um, you would guess that they are not, um, it's, it's, they're not ghosts, right? Because it seems like more than one of them came from the same place. So if this was like the ghost of the, of the dead page, uh, there wouldn't be m- multiples of them. Plus it would have some kind of like intention or target, right? It would go after um, a particular thing, but there's these multiples and it's, it's probably that the page's life force has been sapped over time that the the seed that was planted in them uh, grew and that was what was draining their energy and when it was ready to uh, to bloom then the result was this was this magic um, one thing I can tell you uh, about these these shadows um, is that they are capable if they are what you think they are and you're, you're pretty certain um, these types of spirits are capable of reproducing um, mm. by uh, by killing uh, Victims like when they when they drain the life force from someone, uh, it it will spawn an additional shadow uh, within a, a certain period of time. It could be as short as um, as short as an hour and as long as you know half a day. Um, they also are repelled by sunlight, so they'll they'll all you have to do is get through the night and and when the sun comes up, they'll they'll hide, but it won't destroy them. Um, they'll Patronus. they'll go into hiding. Sunlight, um, Patronus, whatever. But for now, uh, yeah, for now, there is the, the very real risk that for every person they kill, you're looking at facing another shadow. Fuck. Oh, my. How many have they killed that we know of? Well, well technically, the ones that in the, in the palace, we, didn't we decapitate them? Yeah, but that, I mean. But that doesn't, doesn't necessarily do anything. Yeah, yeah. We, don't, we don't think that does anything. It's, more, it's more that they... They fill themselves, they gorge themselves on life essence, and then like a, um, like a cancerous cell, they split into uh, multiple shadows. Um, and that's their, that's their modus operandi, right? It's just to oh, kill. Oh, they split, huh? Yeah, it's to kill, to spread fear, and to, uh, to make more of their kind. I was picturing fucking more flower petal thingies that... Well, yeah, and that's that's the thing. Like they they don't you'd have to see it in action, but basically they they imbue their life force into maybe another seed. There's a bunch of different ways that it might happen, but yeah, like you said, you've seen these these sort of like peach pits uh, embedded in people, and that might be uh, related to it. But yeah, I guess so. Th- we run out and kind of see this courtyard. The lady says that we're all kind of hunched over, catching our breath. Baron, do you share the information like as we're sitting there about these things? Yeah, I I. From uh, religious studies, I recognize the, the the things they've been doing, and I have a rough idea of wh- what how they're reproducing, and I share that with you guys. You know what I know about them that they reproduce and they hate sunlight, and that 
we need to stop them right now or they're going to overtake the village in massive numbers. And we should probably, I don't know, we could try burning the bodies to see if that would help stop the spreading, but uh, it's, there's no guarantee. Um, Adam, what would I make to recall how many bodies I've seen? Because I think it's three. Yeah, yeah. You, um, I mean, you don't have to make a roll. Three is, three is on the number. There, you've seen three victims so far. Okay. Um, but uh, if they're if they're out in the if the shadows have gone out into the village, um, they're probably trying to create more as we the, speak. The other question is: Are when we fought these things, or when I saw these things, were they cor corporeal? Did they could they pass through a wall? Um, it seemed like they're uh, gaseous they're, in form. Yeah, they're they're gaseous. Exactly. Yeah, they're um they have a physical form in the same way that a cloud of vapor does or the smoke rising from a, a funeral fire does like you can, you could wave something through them and it would disperse their form. Um, but, uh, they're, they're amorphous. Uh, so they can't just go right through anything, but, uh, they could, um, you know, potentially pass through uh, the cracks in a wall or the space between a, a window and its sill. Okay. Um, but if you could catch one in a glass jar that was perfectly sealed, it wouldn't be able to escape. Sure. Okay. So we're all like catching our breath. Baron shares with us the information. And I kind of, I, I perk my head up and say, uh, we need to tell the guards to put them all in a contained room, the dead bodies. So if they do uh, spawn a shadow, at least they're in the room for now and keep them contained while we continue on throughout the town. Perhaps maybe burn the bodies just to be safe. They probably would not like these, their families, certainly not. Well, it's for the better of the town. Keep them, yeah. keep them safe rather than keep them happy, I say. Yeah, if we, don't, if we don't do something about the bodies, there may not be a family to mourn them at this rate. I agree. And uh, the, la the lady that's here in front of she's just a normal like servant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's do like we see any guards running lady. about? Yeah, I think if you look around, you're in kind of the, the front courtyard of the of the palace. Uh, yeah, you can see guards kind of like running around doing stuff. I think some of them run by with like, you know, gourds of, of water to go put out that fire. But for the most part, the palace guards, as per your, uh, you know, your earlier order, um, are queen. escorting the king and queen somewhere safe. Right. Um, where I, probably they're going to meet up with um, the commander with the knight and uh, he's going to decide what to do with them from there. Did I tell them, did they, they didn't say where they were going, so I don't know where That's they're going. Right. Yeah, they just said they had another route out of the palace. They probably have some kind of like bug out plan. Um, okay. but, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll grab, I, I uh, as we're sitting there discussing that, we kind of agree on it. I run over and grab one of the, the guards uh, carrying the water to put the fire out. And I, I, I grab him and say, uh, by the order of the magistrate, you now serve me. He, um, yeah, he hands the like gourd to another, uh, to another guard nearby, uh, gives you a, a quick salute. You can see like, he's a younger guy, probably hasn't been a guard very long. Um, and he looks a little, uh, a little frightened. Um, I mean, it's, it's hot out, so he might just be sweating from that, but he's also like trembling a little and afraid. Like he's heard like, oh, there's undead or something in the castle. Right. So he looks sorrowful. No, <laughs> not, not yet. Uh, so once, once he does that, uh, I say, excuse the pleasantries. Find two other men. There are bodies inside this building. I need them brought together inside of room, locked in the room, and burnt. Seal all entrances in there and never open the door until I come back. Do you understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He nods. He nods friendly. Uh, of course. Uh, I have seen three. If you see more bodies, if they are dead, make sure they are in this room. Do you understand? Yeah, he nods. Nods fervently uh, again. Okay. Uh, I say, we are going into the town. We will return soon. And then I just turn to the group and say, hopefully that is enough. We should go into the town. I fear yeah. that more, more lives, are, uh, more lives are, are about to be lost in this city. Yeah. Every second we stand here, there's, there could be another one formed. We have got and to hurry. Everyone's able to stop what is happening. We need to go to the source. Yeah, I, I, as soon as we say that, I just basically take off towards the town, towards the, the cries, uh, as it were. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm just going to roll something real quick here for no reason at all. Right. Okay, 18, not bad. Um, okay, so you want, to, you want to try to track the, uh, track the shadows, like find where, where they went? Uh, mm -hmm. More like, yeah, we're, we're tracking them by the cries of the, the town yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay, who's who's in charge of that that tracking operation? 
probably Velomir. Velomir is probably best at it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so Velomir, uh, because you have your your companions uh, assisting you, um, you can uh, you can make a roll with advantage. Um, and for tracking, I believe it's survival. Um, and this isn't going to be about whether you can find the things or not, because I think how, yeah, they're the be, time that we find them. How long? Yeah. yeah, you got it. So it's it's about uh, the higher you get, the faster you find them. Max, if you have an inspiration, uh, I'd be. Into oh, he's already got he's already got advantage because you're all working yeah. together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. okay, okay, got gotcha. you. The two of you are granting advantage. All right, here we go. Hang on to that inspiration. <gasps> Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, fourteen's good. Not bad. Um, yeah, so you don't you don't spend a lot of time investigating like false leads or anything. Um, I think what happens is we see the three of you run out into the into the streets of the village, and uh, we cut basically immediately to uh, a scene where uh, there's a guard. Uh, we see one of the one of the guards, and he's uh, he's got his spear, um, <clears throat> and he's he's facing off against one of these creatures. He's standing in a, a kind of open square. There's a fountain nearby. There's a dead body lying on the steps of the fountain, and, and frozen blood sort of splattered around. Um, we can hear shouting uh, of panic in the background, um, and he's lit dimly by one of those big paper lanterns hanging from a building uh, next to him. And he, he looks terrified, right? He's There's like other dead guards on the ground, and he's got his spear uh, held uh, aloft. And next to him, uh, we see, maybe we've seen him in the background of one of the shots of the temple. There's a, an old, um, like a priest, and the, the priest is praying. He's got his... Um, his like walking staff in one hand and he has his, uh, his hand up and there's like a faint glow as he's like praying, um, standing next to this guard. And we cut across to the three of you as you, uh, you run onto the, uh, as you run onto the scene. Um, so yeah, so this is what, uh, this is what you see. Um, there is, uh, there is this, the sound floor fountain in the middle, some dead bodies, some blood around, um, and people have sort of fled the scene, but there's this, this shadow creature um that is uh menacing the uh the guard uh adam i can't see anything <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably true you said there's a lantern uh let me take a look i can't see anything either i have a low light vision let's move y'all in yeah you should be able to see um there, one second here Put on our battle glasses. How's there that? we go. Yeah, now there I can go. see the, the stuff. Perfect, yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice battle shades. So yeah, you can see up here the little battle going on. There's a little shadow. He's trying to kill his guard, and then the old uh, the old man uh, sort of praying uh, to uh, for, to some effect. It's hard to see what's going on from here. Sure. Um, and then the three of you kind of run in on uh, on that side. Yeah. What uh, What do you want to do? I think the second we see him. Uh, we, I just start running towards them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let's let's roll um, let's roll initiative. Let's see what order these things okay. take place in, and then everybody can tell me what they're gonna do. Seven. Okay. Let's do that strange seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm also not full HP. I forgot about that. It's fine. It's, it's fine uh, to have a, a weird a weird <laughs> fighting accent. Okay. Why? So, Why you get the shit? <laughs> The guard, the guard got a twenty. The acolyte got a two. Uh, Velomir got a nine. Baron got a fifteen. And then the shadow. Let's turn him around. He's facing his enemy here. Uh, the shadow got a. Here. Right, if that guys. So the shadow get the twenty. No, the guard no. got the twenty. Guard got a twenty. Shadow okay. got a six. Yeah. Good so. Fuck, shadow. Uh, so the guard, uh, the guard gets to go first. Uh, he is going to attempt to attack the uh, attack the shadow with his spear. So we see him uh, kind of staggering back, um, and this the shadow hissing, kind of descending on him. He jabs the spear forward uh, at the uh, at the creature. Fuck him up, guard. And 17. he hits it. Yeah, he hits the uh, he hits the shadow. Uh, nice four, job. Seven days. This fucking guard, man. This, this fuck sorrowful plum. This guy, yeah. this guy's a goddamn ripe lemon or some shit. He's fucking badass. Uh, awesome. Okay, uh, so Baron, uh, you were the you're the first one to uh, to act. What do you um, what do you want to do? Am I close enough that I could shout to the man so he could hear me? Yeah, I mean you can uh, hear him. You can hear him shouting his like battle okay. cries and stuff. Um, um, I I would first yell at the man. Uh, do you have holy magic? <laughs> or, okay, do, at the, uh, you're shouting the, the yeah. two of them. Shouting at um, the man that's praying, like, do yeah. you have holy spells? 
<laughs> the uh, the acolyte turns to uh, turns to look at you, and you can see, um, yeah, you can you can see the presence of uh, of divine magic. Um, why don't you make a make a perception check uh, on this dude? Ooh. Okay, I'll let you know. What 20. You're... Oh, like, 20. Well, nice! God damn, you're very perceptive, Baron. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, yeah, so that dude, um, he yeah, he's like a lower order priest. Um, he may have a few simple cantrips that he's able to uh, to cast, but uh, probably nothing uh, nothing so good as uh, as you have. Um, he may, if he's if he's particularly well trained, be able to cast a first level spell or two, but it's going to be mostly cantrips. So things like uh, thaumaturgy or sacred flame, maybe able to conjure light stuff like that. Okay, um, so I yelled at him, um, if you have if you have any sort of holy magic, cast it against the shadow. It's very effective. Okay. Yeah. So he he looks uh, he looks over at you and and kind of just gives like a stern nod. And he's praying the whole time, so he's like uh, murmuring this mantra. And uh, yeah, turns to look and um, and you see uh, some like relief uh, pass over his face as he realizes that he's not uh, no longer alone. Okay. Um, and, and now you can yeah you now can take I'll do action. my okay. mechanical turn. Uh, Totally. I will go ahead and see. I will go ahead and move right on the edge of this building here. Okay. So I should be in line of sight of the shadow. Yes. Yeah. You can see the you can see the thing. And I'll go ahead and cast a uh, guiding bolt at the shadow. Whoops. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and. Uh, just, ooh, you miss. Okay. Yes. So you, yeah. yeah, you conjure up Temperance's divine light, but uh, you you're not able to guide it in the right direction, and it uh, mm. it's uh, hits the building behind him and illuminates it. But uh, the shadow uh, merely hisses its discontent and uh, continues to uh, attack the guy. Uh, Velomir, what would you like to do? So we've we've discovered we, he shared with the, the the priest can do like holy magic or whatever he, he told him like hey it's weak to this i don't know the fuck i can do to it i guess the guard did some damage yeah i mean i mm-hmm. just hit it here right so it has some sort of ability to take damage like that yeah mm-hmm. okay let's see i'm over here i say just hit it yeah, yeah not, i guess so huh with a bow we're still, yeah, yeah we're still not really sure powerful. if we're it not, can be hurt i don't but... want to get close so it can yeah. shadow suck me Fucking takes down your strength, dude. That sucks ass. All right. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll just fling off a light crossbow bolt at it. Or fire. But the crossbow bolt will technically do more damage. We don't know that they're weak to fire, right? Like, there's no, there's no evidence that fire, particularly like based on Zephyra's uh, assault with the oil flask. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no, no reason to believe that fire. Believe yeah. Okay. So Velomir would just attack with the crossbow bolt. Yeah. yeah all right, so cool. far, all we know about that is the. Um, ooh, that's a seven. <laughs> yeah. You do not hit it. Um, we do know that um, the uh, that radiant damage causes like particular harm to these creatures, but that's about it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, so Vilmir, um, where did you where did you fire that crossbow bolt from? I guess you can yeah you can see from where you're standing because you can. Did you move forward point. at all, Vilmir, or did yeah. you just shoot from where you're at? I just shot from where I was at. Okay, yeah, it's a it's a difficult shot um, staying back where you are, but uh, yeah, you, you fire wide. Um, and Zephira, it is your turn. Uh, are these bodies that we're seeing reflected in the world? Yes. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> uh did i see two uh from where you're standing yeah you can see see one here yeah and one one lying on the steps of the fountain right okay uh i guess it's a well not a fountain but whatever right um fuck i want to burn both of those i will move uh up in front of baron uh with my torch and then uh, the trigger is if that thing comes over to me in melee range, I will attack it. Okay, so you're just going to stand and protect uh, yeah. Baron? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, so uh, shadow time. Um, so the shadow fighting the guard, uh, because it hasn't been hit by the priest's magic yet, doesn't know to, to attack him or do anything about him, so it's going to just attack the guard. Okay. Okay, uh, I could say 13, which I don't think is enough to... Nope. Fuck yeah, the yeah they got abandoned mail or some Woo! shit. Go so, fucking yeah. guards. 
So the uh, the shadow reaches out and claws at the the guard who who staggers back, uh, and its its chill fingers are not able to penetrate uh, the armor. Um, now, the other shadows. Uh, oh. <laughs> so Bellamir, um, you, uh, you you know, you're focused forward. You fired your crossbow. You're loading up another quarrel, and you hear beside you this kind of like. As from the the bushes next to you, another shadow materializes out of the darkness and lunges for you with its shady claws. So, get your strength it drained. Gets you uh, gets you uh, with a seventeen. Um, so you lose uh, three strength. Oh, strength! You feel this thing like sapping your uh, sapping your energy, and uh, fucking damn it. <laughs> yeah, and it's like all up in your shit now. Um, so yeah, redu- eleven, reduce your uh, yeah, reduce your strength just on the sheet. Just make a note of what your strength should be. Should you recover, uh, and just then just anywhere really, yeah, um, and then just reduce it on your sheet. Um, yeah. Wait, so should I actually like reduce it like on the, yeah. the strength thing? Yep. 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 Fuck three. That sucks yep. ass. What's yeah. your what's your strength at now? Eleven. So I have a strength modifier of z- of zero. <laughs> okay, that's great. Uh, Love it. All right. This game's so, really fun. <laughs> I think. Um, let me just see if that's it for me. That happened immediately when I put on these glasses. Fuck them. <laughs> they moved and they attacked. Um, can I get a perception check from Zafira and Baron, please? Okay. Uh, three. Ooh, good, Zafira. Very combat focused. You got there's this one target and only that target. I'm, and I'm super focused it. on these dead bodies. I roll thirteen. Okay, all right. Um, uh, cool. Okay, so then you don't. N- nothing else happens. It's Great. The shadow's turn is over. Great. Great. Um, and now the uh, the priest, uh, the acolyte, he's gonna release his. Uh, he's gonna cast a spell. Go um, big, priest. So wow. he, uh, yeah, he, he holds his hand out and there's a, a silver uh, flash of light as he, uh, he unleashes um, his, his sacred flame uh, on the shadow. So the shadow needs to make, what's the save for sacred flame? Dex? Yeah. Yeah, dex. Yeah, okay. So the shadow's going to make a dex save. DC is uh, 11. Wait, shadow on, gets an 11. Damn it. Also, Adam, the, the strength drain above the, there's two strength drains that you rolled. What was the first one, the 13, 14? 13 was against the guard, 17 was okay, against cool. you. Yes, yeah, 13 was the guard's attack. And then you sure. Yeah. Yep. Um, so the, uh, yeah, the shadow uh, dodges the, the priest spell. Um, so he does not get to do anything. He's going to back away. He's a little scared now. So now the magistrates are here, the acolyte kind of falls back. Um, and then the guard takes another spear attack. Guard, kill him. Uh, guard. Eight. Uh, gets an eight. He misses. So, Baron, uh, it's your turn. Okay. Um, what would you like to do? I, I, the second I see Baron makes like begins to move, I say, Baron, go help Velamir. We do not need him falling in this battle. <laughs> right, because yeah. yeah, this other shadow has just appeared next to him. I haven't taken any damage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and you won't until you're dead. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, actually, you you you're technically supposed to take damage from that as well, but I didn't roll it, so yeah, we'll just forgot. Yeah, you're you lucky. <laughs> okay. Uh, I forgot that it wasn't just the strength rain, but that's okay. Next time I hit you. Yeah. Next time, Valamir. <laughs> I hmm, only have one spell cast left, and I think I need to save it for a heal. Uh, I will go ahead and cast Sacred Flame on the one next to Velomir. Okay. Yeah. So you turn around, turn around, conjure up Temperance's fire. Uh, all right. So the temperance, shadow. Please, dear God, Temperance. Be <laughs> the with shadow me. did not save. Ooh, four. Okay. Uh, and takes so, four, four, four damage. damage. Yep. Uh, which they are weak to. What, what is your damage roll? Is that just a D6? <laughs> what the fuck? It's a, it's a cantrip, remember? So well, it's. I, it's not, I know. Oh, it's a D8. So you're rolling a D8 for damage. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Cool. And they are so weak you, to it, so 
yeah, you conjure up your, your sacred flame and the thing immediately like turns, like hisses at you and you, you hurl the fire at it and you can see it burns away a big chunk of it, like part of its chest and one of its arms just kind of evaporate and then it shrinks and reforms, um, but it's definitely taken some harm. Also, you, mechanically, you Baron, move? you can still move. Yeah, do you want to move, Baron? Uh, I don't think it moving would help. Uh, it would help Max get a stink attack. Yeah, it's true. that's true. I will go ahead and move up next to him to help the sneak attack. Okay. All right. So you uh, cast the spell and then charge forward after charge having, forward, having yeah. injured it. Okay. Uh, now keep in mind, if you're within five feet of an enemy and you try to cast a ranged spell, you're at disadvantage. So, so you are helping with the sneak attack, but you're hindering yourself um, yeah. unless you move first. The Sacred Flame is a, is a save spell, so there's yeah, no... Yeah, so cast. Sacred Flame is okay. Yeah, it's just for stuff like guiding you. <clears throat> Um, all right, so uh, Velmir, that means it's your turn. Uh, there's a shadow trying to stop your life. Glad board. you said that, Adam. I'm ready to go. <laughs> do it. Jump in there. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna. We're right next to him. No real point in disengaging. I already have the sneak attack because of him being there next to me, right? Yep, that's right. Uh, so let's just do the fucking short sword dagger combo. If you okay. got some crits, pull them out now. <laughs> yeah, I got inspiration. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so right cool. now, right now you're just you don't have advantage, but you will be able to trigger a crit if you want. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do the damn thing. All right, do it. Um. Sorry, I had to get the this sheet back open. Uh, boom. Oh. Hey, nice. Yeah, you hit. You got a nineteen. So roll, uh, roll your damage. Okay. Hell yeah. So four, six. five, six damage. Six total for piercing and two sneak attack. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So your first, your first strike, the, uh, the short sword yeah, stabs into the thing's gaseous form. Uh, its eyes flare up red. Um, you've, you've heard it, but not badly. Um, do you want to do, you want to use your bonus action for the dagger follow-up or you want to yeah, yeah, yeah. something else? Yeah. You're going to make another attack. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you miss on that one. And it isn't, again, it isn't so much about missing. It's just that there's some part of it that you can harm and this attack, you slice through it, but it just reforms around the blade. It's like attacking a cloud of smoke. Uh, yeah. The fear, uh, unless uh, unless you want to move, Velomir. Um, um, it's turn. Yeah, I think I do actually want to move. No, you know what? I'm not going to because with with uh, Baron there, I have sneak attack, so it's not going to be any beneficial for me. Yeah, you could you could disengage. I could, but well, you've used you've yeah you've used actually used your action so and it's your a, bonus action. Oh, okay, so, you've used your that, oh, that was that the bonus action, action sneak attack. Gotcha. Bonus action. Yeah, his yeah, second, yeah. His second swing. So. Gotcha. So you just want to stay where you are? Yes. Okay. Zephira, it is Those your turn. Trigger an attack of opportunity. Uh, let's see. I will move behind this uh, shadow up here. Okay. Note that there is a body just north of me, and count them three now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and, then, and then take a swing with my scimitar at this, uh, at this shadow. Okay. 24. 24. Nice. Yeah. Nice job. Six damage. Okay. All right. So this uh, this shade, uh, yeah, hisses angrily as it realizes it's being outnumbered. And uh, I think it's going to turn around and attack you because okay. you heard it. It's mad. So, yeah, it, it reforms kind of so that it's, it's hands and face. Are, I think it, it just it doesn't turn around. It just sort of like amorphously like reshapes so it's back as its front. It's only your face to face with the thing's glowing eyes and it lunges for you with its claws. Sure. So it takes swing with said claws. Uh, it does not hit you. So you're able to fend it off. Um, and it's going to stay there and, uh, and continue to fight with you. Um, the shade attacking Velomir is going to uh, do the same. So it's going to take another attack on you, uh, Velomir. And oh, I, I got a, so got a 15. Block. And 15, so you it hits hit. you. Um, this time I'll deal you your damage. There you go. That's that's for you. Does that actually knock you out, Max? Do you actually just knock, <laughs> knock out from 13 you lose another, damage? You lose another, three, lose another three strengths and then take 13 damage. Velomir is up by one hit point. Uh, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Can I lose another stri three strength? Another three. You can you feel these like your legs trembling. Um, the, 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 the light fading from your eyes. Eight um, strength, boys. When you reach zero, you actually fall, by the way. You die. What? When you reach zero strength, you die. <laughs> yeah. So you, oh, yeah. If, if you reach zero strength, you don't get death saves. You just, you're a corpse now. 
Um, and this is when the shadow that has been lurking around the corner uh, emerges to attack Baron. So Dude, what the fuck? Uh, so Baron, this this shadow uh, uh, appears from around the corner. Um, it, it is technically hidden. It's in stealth, so it's going to have advantage when it attacks you uh, on this attack, um, which doesn't oh, matter. Got a fifteen. God. Yeah, Max, why don't so, you just get eighteen AC? It's so simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> So this, yeah, this other shade kind of like seeps through. I think it comes through the little cottage next to you. So the we see the the boards of the wall, these like flat wooden boards, and then like pouring uh, oil through a, a loose floor, it kind of like seeps between the cracks and then lunges for you. But you manage to get your your shield up and stagger back as it scratches its claws against your uh, your armor. Um, cool. All right. So the acolyte uh, from back here is going to do try it, to acolyte. Keep, it's going to offer acolyte. offer fire support. So do he it, conjures acolyte. Up. Another sacred flame throws it at the shadow. The shadow's gonna Fuck make that up. DC eleven deck save. Hey, uh, yes. hey! Yeah. So he uh, he's gonna take. Uh, let's see. How much damage is uh, it's a D eight flame? D eight. I think it's D eight. Yeah. Yeah. The reason that he rolled that way is because it splits levels and stuff like that. Five. Yeah. Let me double check. Sacred flame is one D eight. Yep. So it deals uh, five uh, doubled because of radiant damage. So uh, actually, the old priest destroys the shadow. Uh, he uh, hell yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he hurls this this silver fire, and between the two of you keeping the shadow busy, the shadow turns as the the flame strikes it in this sort of head region, and then it just burns up in the. Uh, the, in the second hey, that happens, the second that happens, I immediately just speak up and say. You two are now working for me under the order of the magistrate. Follow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I uh, turn can, and I mean, start walking towards Baron. You can tell the guard where to go, right? Because it's his turn next. So um, you just you want to give him an order? Y yes, I say go help the hill dwarf. <laughs> okay. All right. So he's gonna go. Uh, let's see. He'll use his turn going around the. Uh, around also, the technically, do we get XP for that mob dying? Uh, yeah, you'll have to split it with uh, with these guys. Okay, uh, all right. But oh, actually, he wouldn't do that because it's dark around the corner. He let me see what he can see. He, he actually can't like... even he can't even see Baron from where he's standing, right? Like, because Baron is hidden behind the building and it's all dark over there. Well, then maybe it, maybe I just say follow me, and then it's like a, a okay. move, like a uh, okay. So action. he'll he'll forego he'll forego his action and then you go, go and then yeah. he'll follow on his next turn. Yeah, um, Baron, it is your turn. You have uh, shades to the right and left of you. Uh, Velomir is slowly being sapped to death. What would you like to do? Okay. I'll say a quick prayer to myself to give me strength to fight the over overbearing odds, and I'll cast another sacred flame at the shade right in front of Fuck me. Fuck him up. Okay, so remember, if you're casting... Oh, right, but yeah, it's a safe. It's a, it's That's a safe so good. Spell. That's such yeah, a good on. like. It's a good way to get around that. That's really cool. Uh, all right, so the one... Ah, the one which one? The uh, one in front of you or the injured one already? The one attacking Velomir. Okay, perfect. All right, Fuck deck save. Damage. Uh, failed. Oh, so it's yes, still, still takes four. Um, so the shade is swiftly evaporating. Uh, it's it's on its sort of last legs, and it's still gonna try to like drain Velmir one last time before, God it's, fucking like, damn it. before it's gone. Velmir, you were being vampirized by a shade. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, um, unless unless Baron, you don't want to move or or do anything no, else. Yeah, I'll stay okay. where I am. Okay. Uh, shit. This is a struggle between. Just, just so I know in the future, I can disengage and then go try to stealth. Yep. As, as a bonus action, uh, yeah, because you're rogue, you can you can disengage and then you are no longer threatened, and then you can move and you can take an action to hide. You can do all that fun shit. You can yeah. you can disengage and shoot from range. Basically, yeah, just don't attack with your dagger. They want to disengage just so as to try and not get fucking strength sucked anymore. Okay, cunning action to disengage. So now you have uh, you can move, you can attack with one attack. You can do whatever you want. So I can move. Yeah, and then yeah you can move freely. Right. Or you, you can attack first and then move. Yeah, you can attack right. and then run, or you can yeah move and then shoot. Whatever you want to do. Let me see this distance. Hold on. This distance? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, about thirty-five feet. All right. Okay, I can move you to, hold um, on before before you move? Can you show me the the actual path you're taking? It's important. Oh my god. I don't even know if I want to move now. God damn it. I, I just need to know what like move yourself one square at a time so I can see where you're moving. Yeah, there's shit out there. Remember. <laughs> okay all right let me think about where i want to move hold on you can also remember where me and baron were true uh -huh. wait remember where what 
me and Baron were when we went to attack stuff, like where we've already moved, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. All right, I guess I'm gonna go for like this stance right here. Okay, so you're going like here yeah. and then here. Yeah, so I can still get shots on these fuckers over here. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, well, you, I mean, you can't shoot at this one because this guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the one, yeah, the one that has like a tiny amount of hit points left. You've still got a shot. I just want to get strength trained, and I still want to contribute to the party, so I can move and then attack. We're gonna do that with light crossbow bolt. Okay. Good luck. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, you hit him. Yay. Fuck yeah! All right, so roll, uh, roll your damage. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. my god. <laughs> 15 damage? No, yeah, sure think... Well, it's only 10, right? Because you used the bonus action? Or no? No, no. The sneak attack is uh, always present oh, if you okay. attack something within five feet of a friend. Um, the bonus action was to disengage. Then you can move. Then you made your attack. It, it does count as a sneak attack. Uh, oh, and you deal okay. I get it now. Yeah. He's so you, uh, you destroy that shade. Yeah. I mean, you only deal him seven damage, but you that's enough. So yeah. Baron, uh, Baron, a, a crossbow coral flies over your shoulder uh, and through the, the shadow, uh, stabs into the ground, and the shadow just kind of like peels and disappears. Good shot. That was max damage on that fucking bow. Damn. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the sneak attack could have done one more, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Zephyr, not to take away from your achievement. Next. Mm -hmm. uh, Zephyr, it's your turn. What do you want to do? I will move over here. Actually... I will move down here, and I want to light this fucking body on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With with what? A uh, torch. Okay. With I mean, fire. I, I'm Duck. lit somehow, or or maybe if I'm here. Yeah, you have you have a torch. You have like a torch in your hand, in your other hand, right? Because you're. Uh, yeah. That's what, like because you were carrying one from before. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So I move down there and light the body on fire. And then when the guards behind me, I say, "If you see a dead body." Make sure to light it on fire. That the shadows will spawn from this, and we cannot handle many more. Um, can I, uh, Velimir? Can I get a perception check from you, please? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I just need to know uh, something about sure. your ability. Uh, perception Whoop. eleven. Eleven. Okay. Eleven's not great. Um, so not great. you see from the uh, from the the shadows between these two buildings. <laughs> The last of the uh, the last of the shadows uh, emerge and rush towards you to attack. So Fuck! It, it comes out Why from me? comes out from here because you're standing out in the open. Uh, so we'll do one one on Baron, uh, one on Velomir. Uh, Baron, Vel this one's Velomir, yours. Here's here's honestly what you need to hope for. You need to hope that you actually get killed right here <laughs> from this thing. Rather than well, I guess you're gonna take the strength drain anyways, right? So it doesn't matter. So it it, it misses you. The okay. one that attacks Baron. This is the one that attacks Baron. It oh. attacks and misses. Thank God, I thought um, that would be the other shadow, the shadow that attacked you, the reason I got you to do that perception check is because it's attacking uh you failed, so it's attacking from stealth. Right. So it just kind of appears and attacks you. It has advantage. Oh great. <gasps> and oh my god. god. I got an Thank eleven. God. Yeah, I got an eleven. Fucking and a the six. gods are on our side, motherfuckers. <laughs> So it yeah like uh -oh. comes snarling like a, a cloud of hell and it it <laughs> lashes out at you but you manage to like dodge out of the way its claw snaps it uh, empty air. Um, the acolyte uh, will continue doing what uh, he was doing last time and he's going to try to uh, uh, destroy this one with his spell. Uh, he's going to make a uh, save. Uh, yes, so the uh, the shadow saves. Uh, acolyte does not get to hit him. Uh, the guard, uh, what was your command to the guards? Zephira? Attack anything that right. comes into okay. sight. Yeah. Okay. So he, uh, he runs up uh, right here. Well, technically it was go help my Hildor friend. Sure. Yeah. But he still hasn't seen Baron. He sure. doesn't know where yeah. Baron is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think now that he stands here, he sees Baron, but he sees a shadow in front of him. So he's going to run up and try to attack. Yeah. It. He's not a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he critically misses. He does, he stab, right does he stab yeah, Max? If this was 2.0, no, he'd actually stab Max, Max right now. Stab himself in the face. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. First, he stabs Velomir. The spear breaks off, and then he impales himself on the broken end of the spear, and the two of them die, <laughs> Lady in the Tramp style, face down. Yeah, great. Um, no, that doesn't happen. He just misses. Baron, it is your turn. All right. Uh, I will just go ahead and continue to tank the one beside me, and... Cast a sacred flame at the one attacking Velomir right now. Okay. Ooh. All right. Yeah. So the one attacking Velomir uh, will make a dex save. Team player Baron. 
uh, and no, we'll, we'll make the save. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, you you fire a blast at it, and it it doesn't uh, it doesn't seem to harm it. Um, the shadow next to you uh, hisses angrily, as though like, "Hey, pay attention to me. I'm the one trying to kill you over here." <laughs> you can, come on, we're hey, fighting. Jonathan. Hey, man, look. You- Hey man, my life was terrible before, but I'm a shadow now. I'm important. <laughs> what am I, chopped liver? Come on, yeah. I'm trying to kill you here, <laughs> Velomir. Uh, or I guess Baron, do you want to do anything else? Do you want to move or, or just stay where uh, you are? I can't move or I'll get a, a attack of opportunity, so I'll just stay where I am. Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, so that means that it is your turn, Velomir. Velomir is gonna move over here so right. as to not get sucked. That disengage. disengage. What does it so, look like when yeah. you disengage to to me and Baron? To you? Like, what are you doing yeah. that's different? Because you're yeah, you're doing a thing that, that they can't do. You're you have like some an innate cunning or agility. Yeah, like what is it? What does it look like when you you pull your cool rogue tricks? <laughs> Palomir's particular uh, disengage looks very very odd. He just gets very still for a moment. It just goes like this, and you just. You see, like, and smell brimstone just for a slight moment as his eyes get like flashing red. Cool. You just can't see him. He's gone. <laughs> like, it's yeah, almost yeah. like time for Velomir slows down for a moment, and he uses that that moment to just slip out of everyone's view, like really fast. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So like the flickering and the smoke and stuff make and it hard for people to grab at you. Like a weird shimmer. Cool. I love nice. it. That's great. So you, yeah, you you pull your your shimmering trick, fall back. And uh, what do you want to do now? And the shadow that's next to you actually isn't dead. Um, Please save. Adam, I think I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> you saved one last crossbow quarrel for yourself. <laughs> you just like put it towards your face. You're like. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> just, like we all look over and Belmer's putting the bolt in his mouth. <laughs> Horrifying. Horrifying. I feel like cross bolt to the fucking head of yourself would be terrible. I mean, it would, yeah. it would kill you instantly, right? You just put it in your mouth and you just go up through the top of your head yeah, and you die. I guess. Yeah. All Next. right, I'm going to fling a crossbow bolt or try just to. Brain nice. stem. Okay. Here we go. All right, well, let's just call that a miss, probably. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a safe. It's a safe bet. Yeah, so you aim, fire, and, uh, and yeah, it soars past the, uh, past the shadow. Zephira, uh, you have you have uh, spent your last turn igniting this this corpse. Yep. Uh, so I will now a, move a right body. next to the guard and uh, strike at the shadow. Okay, let me Lift turn the this scimitar. body into a light source here. Uh, here you go. Great. Um, okay. Scimitar strike. Seventeen. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you hit. Nine. Ooh, nine damage. Nice. Yeah, not bad. All right. Hell yeah. So yeah, you 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 flail at the creature and uh, you you manage to to cut through it and, and cause some uh, some harm, but it's still it's still up and fighting. Um, so uh, let's do we want to do want to like take our break here and I'll I'll hit you with shadow stuff in a, when we come back. Oh, uh, because we're not I don't think we're gonna finish this fight before we get to the break. I'm okay, yeah, yeah. Let's we'll take a break. We'll take a break. All right. Okay. So I think we yeah before we go to the break, you you like valiantly like leap uh, ahead. There's this burning body behind you. You slash through the shadow, uh, cutting away some of its uh, its ectoplasm, and it, it turns to you, ready to to tear you apart. Yeah. And uh, that's the last thing we see is like Zephyr's face as the shadow. Uh, Fantastic. All right, we'll take cool. our first break. Still got three hours left to go here on episode seven of Court of Swords. So don't go in there. We'll be right back, and we'll see if we can kill these shadows, or if Max will die. <laughs> Actually, if no, you man. if you live, this is the first fight that you have never died in. I God think. Damn right it is. Fight's yeah. not. Fight's not nearly. The fight's over. not over yet. But I'm just saying. Oh. I'm just saying. All right. The shades are on, and the shades are on. It's gonna be a <laughs> long go. show. There you go. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. More quarter swords after this. We'll see you guys then.